John the Baptist did not split the sea in two, and we don't know so much about his life, like we know about Abraham, for example. If it were not written, and if Jesus were not to say, among those born of women, there has not risen one greater than John the Baptist, I don't think many would believe this. Jesus Christ also said that many will come from the east and the west, and will sit down with Abraham, Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. In this statement many Bible worshippers think of themselves and unfortunately they persecute the true children of God and it ought to be like this because Jesus said a disciple is not above his master. The true children of God are not guided by the Bible by what other children of God did in the past. They are guided by Jesus. He is their master. They are born of the Spirit of God because Jesus baptized them. They are not limited to the Bible. They don't live by the Bible. They live by the Spirit of God and they worship God in spirit and in truth. I'm not saying unfortunately for those who are being persecuted but for those who persecute the children of God. And most of them are not unbelievers. They are people who follow different doctrines of men, who are not inspired by God, but they are inspired by the Bible, just like the Pharisees were inspired by the Scripture. Jesus and the disciples were not persecuted by unbelievers, but by people who claim to serve God. And unbelievers can't put you out of their synagogues because they don't have synagogues. The true children of God, born of the Spirit of God, are one. Because Jesus guides them all, and Christ is not divided. Do you worship God in spirit and in truth? Or are you a Bible worshiper who thinks all the words God did through his children and still does today? can be contained in a book. My Jesus bless you.